Hello, and welcome to the ArcServe Unified Data Protection video series. In this video, I'll show you how to restore from a recovery point for the Windows Agent component of ArcServe UDP. Let's get started. First, log in to the ArcServe UDP agent for Windows. You'll need to specify the recovery point and content you want to restore. So from the home page, select Restore, and the Restore Method selection dialog opens. Click the Browse Recovery Points option and the Browse Recovery Points dialog opens. The Browse Recovery Points dialog displays the Recovery Point server details in the backup location. You can click Change to change the backup location. The Source dialog opens where you can select the backup location. If you select the Local Disk or Shared Folder option, then you need to specify or browse to the location where your backup images are stored and then select the appropriate backup source. You can click the green arrow button to validate the connection, then click OK. If you select the Recovery Point Server option, then you need to specify the Recovery Point Server settings, and then click Refresh so that all the agents are listed in the Node column for you to choose from. Then click OK, and the Recovery Points are listed on the Browse Recovery Points dialog. Next, select the calendar date for the backup image to restore. Then select the Recovery Points to restore. If you see a locked icon, that means the recovery point contains encrypted information and may require a password to restore. Then select the content to restore, whether it's a volume level restore, which restores the entire volume or selected files or folders within the volume, or an application level restore. In this case, we have a SQL writer, which restores the entire application or selected components, databases, instances, and so on within the application. You can only select one to perform the restore job. In this video, I'll show you how to restore from a file and from a SQL Server. Let's start with selecting a file from the C drive. Here, I'll select Documents and Settings. Click Next and the Restore Options dialog opens. On this screen, you would need to select the Restore Destination. You can restore to the original location where the backup image was captured or restore it to a different location. Next, specify how you would like ArcServe UDP to resolve any conflicting files. You can either overwrite any existing files or replace any active files, which this option is only available if you select the Overwrite Existing Files option, or rename files, or skip the existing files, which is the default option. However, if your restore destination is for a different location, then the default option here is Rename Files and the directory structure is enabled to let you create a root directory during the restore. ArcServe UDP recreates the same root directory structure on the restore destination path if that root directory structure exists in the captured backup image. Then, if necessary, specify the backup encryption password if the data you are trying to restore is encrypted. This is usually required if you are trying to restore from a different ArcServe UDP computer. Now let's go back to the Browse Recovery Points dialog and perform an application level restore. To perform an application level restore, select a SQL Server database. Here I'll select ArcServe underscore app and click Next to open the Restore Options dialog. Here you will select the restore destination. You can either restore the database to the original location from where the backup image was captured Restore the dump file only where you can specify or browse to the location where the dump file will be restored to, or restore to an alternative location. If you select to restore to an alternative location, you can select the database instance and specify a new database name, an alternate location, or browse to the alternate location to where the database will be restored to. Then, if necessary, specify the backup encryption password if the data you are trying to restore is encrypted. This is usually required if you're trying to restore from a different ArcServe UDP computer. Now click Next and the Restore Summary dialog opens. The Restore Summary helps you to review all the restore options that you defined and modify them if necessary. If the summary information is incorrect, click Previous and go back to the applicable dialog to change the incorrect setting. If the summary of information is correct, click Finish to launch the restore process. Now the recovery point content is restored. That's it. This concludes our video. 
Thanks for watching. For more information on the features and benefits of this application, please read the documentation or visit the ArcServe Unified Data Protection Knowledge Center.